This next question is, what's DNS? Well, DNS stands for Domain Name Server, and it is so crucial. It is fundamental, and really, how a lot of the internet works. When you type in, for example, 3dgameman.com, or rodneyreynolds.com, or whatever website you type in, that website, that name, is associated with a number. And the DNS, or the Domain Name Server, figures all that out for you in the background. You type it in, in a millisecond, boom, the site comes up. Now, most people will never have to worry about entering any kind of different DNS number in their router or on their computer system. It's all done automatically, and for the most part, it's fine. Don't worry about it. But if you want to use a specific DNS number or a server, well, you can do that if you want to. You can do it in the network settings on your OS operating system. Uh, you can also do it in the router area uh, in the DNS part. Um, and all you need to do is enter the primary and secondary. It depends on which DNS you go for. Now, there are a number of different DNS servers you can go with, and most of them are free. Uh, some of them you can pay you know, for extra security measures and controls and reporting and all that kind of stuff. Uh, OpenDNS.com, uh, they have a number of different services, including a free one. Uh, also, Google has its own DNS servers. You can do a search for, uh, you know, Google DNS servers. And again, the best place to enter them would be in your router's DNS area. You can just manually enable them and enter them. You'll need to enter one for the primary and secondary or preferred and alternate uh, DNS servers. Myself, I'm currently using Google's DNS servers. I find them to be pretty quick, a little bit faster than my own internet service provider DNS server. So that's you know an advantage right there. Some DNS servers will be faster than others. But sometimes it depends on your own internet service provider, uh, where you live in the world, and so on and so forth. But in essence, all a DNS server does is take a name and convert it into a number. So you can, within you know, milliseconds, really see what you enter, like for example, 3dgameman.com or rodneyreynolds.com. And as soon as you go enter or bring it up, it's instantly on the screen nobody knows what's going on in the background nobody knows that this DNS server is assigning or you know kind of fixing a number with this name because that is what it it basically does